My name is Chantal Ngaelundu. I spell it uh, C H A N T A L. Chantal and my last name are Nga N G A E L N G A space E L O U N D O U. Nyanga store is located on 1423 North Street, Harrisburg, PA 17102. And um, in the store, we have everything from the fashion to accessory to art to skin. So we have clothes for men, women, children. We have uh, jewelry necklaces for men, women, children, artwork, masks, as you can see behind me, uh, paintings and some sculpture, and we plan to extend it just to fill up the hole. And as a skin product, we have a, a whipped shea butter that I whip myself in my little kitchen, and African black soap, a foamy African black soap that I make myself as well. For the shea butter, we have shea butter that are regular, meaning with no scent, but I also use 100% pure essential oil to give that sense to the shea butter, whipped shea butter. So that's what we have now, and it's just the beginning. As time goes by, we ex we are Nyanga we only uh, increase the, the products and the merchandise. So visit us on uh, currently on the social media. We're very active on Instagram, Nyanga Jewelry, and on Facebook, again, Nyanga Jewelry. We're working very, very diligently on our website. That would be Nyanga, www.nyanga.com. Okay, uh, during the holiday season in 2015, I ordered, asked my niece Virginie back home in Cameroon to send me a few uh, handmade jewelry, and she, which, which she did, and I took it to the local church, local church uh, flea market, and in that flea market, like any flea market, uh, things were there was a table, a table next to me that everything was for free and then a lot of uh, merchandise was under a dollar and there I was and uh, believe it or not that day I came home with $37. That was an eye op eyes opener. I said wow though, that means I can actually make some money with this. So long story short, uh, during that season after the holiday, being already a Broad Street Market, uh, what can I say? attending I, go, I used to go I go I used to go there almost every weekend to get my vegetable my fruits so the first thing that came to my mind was to try to get a store at the Broad Street market to open a, a table and then I, w I went ahead and applied and uh, the Broad Street market wasn't the way it is right now it was still very empty almost literally 2015 we're talking so Long story short, uh, very shortly after my application, uh, I w the application was approved, so I started selling at the Broad Street Market on, in April 2016. But then I had only a table, one table where I would put my little jewelry, and then from um, people see me there, people started, my customer, I started to build a customer base. They started to ask me, oh, why do you have, don't you have shea butter? Why don't you have African black soap? That's how I started to, from a table until where we are today. So everything here is authentic, straight from Africa. Most of the products come from Cameroon. Me being from Cameroon, it's, it's much easier for me because I have family member, my niece who is over there, takes care of everything. The clothes, I designed some. We have clothes for men, women, children. And the jewelry is the same for men, children, and uh, women. The sculptures, the, the masks, the shea butter. But you know, there is a story with the shea butter because like, you know, every woman, you might have you might love all your children, but you always have a favorite one, right? So the shea butter is my favorite one because it's my home name. <laughs> this is the African black soap, authentic ones, straight from Africa. And then uh, the shea butter, we are very, um, this one is just regular, no sense. It's whipped, very easy to use. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> 
very easy to use and shea butter is a great product for the skin this one I don't add anything except the one that have essential oil that have and we use I use 100% pure essential oil so I can be a resource for somebody if the person was interested I'm from Africa I have family of my family is over there my entire family is over there so I'm available to give any uh, because in Africa you can have so many things to from Africa not only clothes jewelry so many things I make myself available as for the clothing and everything that I sell here I also have the, the I'm planning on doing wholesale as well so they can have wholesale prices and things like that just so it should be, shouldn't be a problem for it. But if somebody wants to go outside, I would just suggest to have very um, trustworthy uh, resource in Africa because business everywhere is the same thing. To make sure that the person you are dealing with in Africa is, uh, is trustworthy, that I would say, and um, the product that you'll be getting uh, the one that you actually want to have and then if you can travel yourself the person can travel to Africa that could even be better yeah you wasn't sure if I was getting on camera did you <laughs> uh -huh, gotcha okay no no because my girlfriend right here Chantal is going to wrap my head like I see head wraps I see like some wraps are already like pre wrapped, mm -hmm. but she's gonna show me how to do like authentic. She's gonna show y'all how to do an authentic <laughs> wrap. Mm -hmm. So check this out. This one here is a rectangular one. This one is actually in my, in my uh, ethnic. This is the one that is really, really warm. So, so what we do? So the rectangular ones are the ones that are worn the most? The most in my, uh, my, my, uh, in my ethnic okay yes so this is how we do it you take it this way and then you fold one side okay so is it like folded like the corners folded down? one corner yes one corner down yes Got it. okay mm -hmm. and then you go you need me to hold it in the front mm -hmm. Please. Okay. Okay. I hold it in the front yeah we're gonna make it a little bit Oh, okay. We fix it up later. Got it. Mm -hmm. Then you make a knot here in the back. Let me know if it's too tight. No, or no, no. Not yet. I haven't okay. tied yet. <laughs> okay. And then you make a knot. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I'm like, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> then. <laughs> ah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this you can still have your hair. Still have my hair out. Mm-hmm. And then in the back, you stuck it in. Okay. And then you fix it. Usually, women do it with the mirror in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. So when you're done, you kind of fix it. I didn't tie it too tight because no, it's not tight. That's why usually the people they they tie your own hair, um, hair wrap. Uh -huh. So you know how how tight you, you want. can. Yes. So for this one, so I'm always very uh, careful when mm -hmm. doing somebody hair. Can you okay. this way? This can be one, and okay. then you go. If you want to higher, you can go higher. Ooh, I had to change my hair because I had I normally have <laughs> big hair, and I was like, no, I want a hair wrap, uh, so I had to change my hair up. I turn it. Yeah, you can do. Can I turn it? Yes. So then, and then mm. I can still um, yes. tuck it like this? Mm -hmm. Stuck inside. Okay. Yes. Of course, you can do this too. All right. I'm fly. I love it. There you go. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like this. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna scare some people at work. It's gonna be alright though. I love it though. I like it too. <laughs> you see, people think that is very difficult. You can just there's okay. not no one way of doing hair, hair, wrapping your hair. There's no you see. There's no one way. There's no Dude, you can take like uh, two thirds over there. Okay. So you go in the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then we tie we tied it in a knot. You can tie or you can just leave it. You know what? Let leave it alone. Okay. Okay. We leave it alone, and then this one, this mm -hmm. side, the long side, mm -hmm. you kind of twist it, and you go over. Ah. That's how you make this one. You kind of stuck it inside. Okay. Keep twisting, and oh, okay. uh, because so, it's so new, you're, you're twisting it's, the fabric. Yeah, oh, not too much okay. because not too much. just a little bit because this one is so that we have some volume. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Twist, and when you wash it, it will be soft. We soften a little bit because mm -hmm. this is authentic African fabric. Right. Okay. It's still it going to be yeah, it's okay. still going to be strong. Did I lose my eyebrow? <laughs> is it still there? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, there. good. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> I am. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Ooh. Okay, I like this too. <laughs> so I know, yes. I know whenever something is on the floor. Like anything in my face, I'm like, wow. Yes, so yeah. yes. Now that I gotta go home and practice, I'm gonna be in the mirror forever. My son gonna be like, "Mom, stop!" Again, because yes. when you do, you are on, you are mm -hmm. on, your own head is it's easier for it's you easy. to tie. But to. no, I, I this is secure. Mm -hmm. But that's my thing. Like, is it gonna fall off my head? Now you can just you don't want to and put on my little Fulani earring. Mm -hmm. There you go. I love there them. You. Okay, in Cameroon, all these masks come from Cameroon. So Cameroon has over 200 ethnic groups. Uh, and each one has the, the culture. And long, long time ago, masks, even, even now, masks are not just for decoration. Although the one that I have here are, you know, are not the one that have been to ceremony, traditional ceremony or anything. Those are the marks that my uh, artist just do for me and that I get it from him. So, this, uh, this one for instance, all the marks with these two things, like this one, like this one, this one, the Tikar marks. So the Tikar people, they, this is their symbol. They used to wear this, for instance, this one, for the induction of a king so when they have a new king that need to, needed to swear in they will wear this mask for his induction and these are this here the laser is the symbol of the wisdom from the Tikar and this too is the symbol of wisdom this here is called the Ponu Mas. That's another ethnic group in Cameroon. Not only in Cameroon, they also we also have uh, the Ponu people. At, I believe in Gabon because Africa, the way it is now, that's not the original Africa. Africa was cut off by during the colonization. So the same group of people found themselves in two different countries. So the Ponu people, this was worn by the Queen. That's I love her. So, and the Ponu people, you can see nine knots, little dots over here. That's the symbol because within the Ponu ethnic, they have nine group within. So she was, and you have these nine dots here that are the symbol that she's a queen of the entire ethnic group. Chokwe. Mass. This is the chokwe mask, and it was worn by the king. And you can see it has like two heads, one here 
and the other one on top, which symbolize that the king is a normal human being like everybody else, but he has some divine power that to look over his people. That's why he had two heads. This one is Bangtu Mas, one of the Bangtu Mas for the harvest. After the people have uh, the, the harvest, they're happy, the, uh, the earth has given them more than they could ever hope for. So they will have a celebration to celebrate. So they will wear this one, this mask. So right now they go from 85 to 300 dollars, but most of the masks are around under 100 dollars. Around 100 dollars? No, under, okay. yes, under 100 dollars. Under, under 100, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Like I love the and the, the hand wood. carved. You can tell that it's is hand carved mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the inside. Like I just I'm um, like mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's just like I don't know when I, I when I think about how much was lost or what was stolen mm -hmm. or what's in museums. I don't know. I can't really put it into words. Yeah, but. I'm not gonna cry. On yes, camera. yeah. <laughs> it's okay though. It's not gonna, it's okay. It's, you can cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry on camera. I'm not. Yes. I'm not gonna do it. Yes. So yeah, like, that are, you can find masks that are made everywhere in the world. But I love this. I love yes. just the detail mm -hmm. and the hand carving in the lips. Like oh, mm -hmm. you see these things. <laughs> these lips. These yes. This this. She's mine. Like. <laughs> Like I'm just drawn to this yeah. one mess. Like, yeah. this, like this is my girl. Like I, like I know her. Yes. You know what I mean? Like yes. I love this. There are not a lot of of communities that have stores like yours mm -hmm. that have authentic merchandise, authentic um, art, authentic mm -hmm. from Africa, like mm -hmm. authentic clothing, authentic jewelry, authentic home goods and, and skincare and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. We A lot of communities don't have that. Mm -hmm. So when we do have a store like yours, I think it's very important yes. to cherish it, to mm -hmm. honor it, um, and to just support you. Definitely to, to support you because then you're supporting others, oh, you know, those. back home. Yes. And, you know, just the conversation that we were having before we got on camera, and we were mm -hmm. talking about colonization and neo-colonization because it's still happening yes. being able to um, support the artisans and the creators that mm -hmm. are back in Africa yeah. that you are purchasing these items from and, and making them available here right. it's very important mm -hmm. so I just want I, again I just want to thank you so much for being a guest on Minority Report I got my head wraps I can't wait I'm gonna go home and flex some things <laughs>